so we're printing wax here, and the build material solenoid is cycling, and the pump is cycling, but the wax is not cycling, nor is the solenoid lighting up. But for some reason, it's doing the material side. When it should be doing the wax side. And I say that because the print that we're doing is just a large flat area. This is the support material. So it's using a lot of wax. I already ran one of these and it went just a little ways up and then quit printing the wax. So at some point it's when it starts it's regenerating I'm going to put an ink mark on top of the wax so we can tell if it's still printing wax or not. It doesn't appear to be. It's like it already stopped printing the wax. not building up anymore. Again, you can hear the solenoid. See the solenoid lighting up on the material side. There's no activity whatsoever on the wax side here. Nothing. The motor's not kicking on, nor is the solenoid cycling. So, whether that's a problem with the panel. Our problem with the build, the program build, I don't know. But what's concerning more is the, fa the fact that, again, the support side keeps trying to build, cycle and build when it shouldn't even be working. There's no support, there's no uh, build material being used at this point. It's all support material. Again, I ran this larger print just so it would consume a lot of wax and create a condition where it would cycle that pump a lot more. It's not doing it at all, but it is on the build side. So why is that? Go back and take another look at the the wax build up. Again, you can see the pin mark's still there. So it's not printing any more wax. I'll pause the print. The first print I did of this um, printed a, a little bit further than this. Before it stopped printing. So all I did was actually it's a different uh, STL file. Uh, 
I made a slight change to it, but again, the same result other than it is printed a lot more wax on it. We'll take a look at it. Here's the first print. You can see where the pin marks had started to cover. But one other thing to, to note is that this print, let me turn the plate around, also has that characteristic groove in it that's been there from ever since we've had this machine. Occasionally it would pop up and mess up your print uh, consistently all the way up. Why that's there, I haven't seen that for a little bit, but it's, it's there in this material. It's just low divot. Again, that's been there for quite a while, but you can see the uh, the green. I stopped, aborted the print on this one. I let it go to the point where it was printing some uh, of the build material here. You can see it. Um, but there was a large gap between the build material between the, where the wax stopped. So I'm probably going to do the same thing on this one. Uh, I'll resume this. I'll let it get to the point where it's printing a little bit of the uh, build material. Um, again, I don't know. On the first one uh, that I just showed you, I had I was sitting here the whole time, even when it ran out of wax, and the build material uh, never cycled. The only time it cycled was when the uh, cleaning cycle was going when it purged the head and it obviously used a consumption of build material then it cycled once or twice um, but once it started printing the wax that never cycled and once it even started printing the uh, the part uh, the build material on that other part it never cycled because it was it wasn't using very much build material it didn't cycle uh, again before I aborted it. But now this appears to be reversed to where we're getting the cy consistent cycling of the build material side. When no material, build material is being used. And the support material side isn't cycling at all. And there's no support material being printed. Obviously at some point between uh, me initiating this print from my office and it's starting uh, the uh, pump actually must have cycled because it was had enough pressure or vacuum to initiate the first part of the support material uh, but then after that point it wouldn't cycle anymore so at some point it, it did kick on again probably as soon as I initiated the print um, and it pressurize it, it did something to both sides so it's either to me it's either a control problem or uh, there's something wrong with I can't see if there's something wrong with your board something's telling it to cycle this side instead of the other side I don't know it doesn't make sense to me that it would be the uh, this board or the vacuum system here it's doing what it's being told to do 